Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Lady Nika, and with a review, this is a show called Follow the Rules. It's um, it's about you know, famed rapper Ja Rule and his family. Now it's gonna have the wife Asia and their three kids, Brittany, Jeffrey, and Jordy. Jordan, what they call him, Jordy. Okay, it also has the grandmas, Jean and Deb. And it starts off with Ja Rule making fun of his oldest son. Because he went, y'all know them pants they be wearing, like, uh, them, them little, they look like fucking child, I call them. They look like fucking, what you call them pants is them, them troopers be wearing child it, it, with the little legs. And they then he got that little saggy part there. Well, yeah, he got that on. And he said that's the latest gear, child. And he got him some Giuseppe shoes on, child. And, and fucking Josh just having a, a, a nice kiki at his expense, you know. Even called the youngest son, little Jordy, in there. And they just laughing at him. Because, oh, boy, I think he just so fly, okay? But then... It flips to a scene where Ja gets a call from his daughter, Britt. They call her B Stacks. And uh, she explained to him that her and her two besties, uh, Joy and Ashley. Oh, is that how you pronounce that good name? Ashley? Some shit like that. Anyway, child, uh, they planning a trip to Miami. And Ja wasn't necessarily feeling it. He said, why shouldn't she just, you know, he don't know about that. Though. Why don't she just bring her and her friends on to the house for the, uh, you know, summer break and stuff. And she don't really want to do it. So she think being a kid in the mind, still, young adult, she thinks she can one-up her daddy. Child, she going to tell her daddy, okay, well, I come home with my friends and my boyfriend. Now, she thought. And when she said she was going to bring her boyfriend, then he would be like, nah, that's all right, y'all, you going on to Miami. But he was like, okay, we can make that work. So now she got to come up with a boyfriend. Because she ain't got no boyfriend, child. She just wanted to go to Miami. And instead of her just talking to her dad on that level, she wants to try to go in between and play on him and stuff. And figured that he was going to say never mind when she was talking about bringing some boy home. But hell, that made him want to go want to meet the boy even more so he's like okay bring him on girl y'all gonna learn young folks that we done played the game before and you cannot play a bitch okay child i had myself a good kiki now she gotta go talk to her homeboy george now they just good friends right but she needs to get him to be her stand-in boyfriend because she done lied and said she coming with her two best friends and her boyfriend right she done woke this boy up out his goddamn sleep to meet up with her so she could tell him, look, I need you to stand in as my boyfriend, but I don't need you to be nice. I need you to go to this house and, and, and pretty much be obnoxious. Now, don't make him want to do a murder on your ass, but... You know, and that's the key thing too, child. They say if he get too out of line and Ja get too ignorant with him, he gonna uh he just gonna holler murder, and that's when she gonna come and save his ass. Child, it was a nice little kiki for me. I swear it was. Well, <coughs> she told him <coughs> that's what she need him to do, and he said that he'll do it. Okay, so next we see. The boys, Jordan and Jeffrey, going to talk to the grandma. Apparently, Grandma Deb can drive. Cause, and she she kind of like, Grandma Deb reminded me of me, baby. Grandma Deb was sitting there playing on her iPhone, drinking her a glass of wine. And she wasn't trying to go to no fucking game stop to buy no damn toys. She, I mean, no damn game. She told them, you need to ask your other grandma, Jean. So they get Jean up in there. Apparently, Jean don't know how to drive in all these years. And so everybody is appealing to her, saying that she should learn how to drive. Grandma's saying, look, I'm tired every time we go out. <laughs> I got to be the designated driver. You need to. You said you wanted to learn, so let me teach you. The boys are saying, yeah, Grandma, you should learn how to drive because what if you need to, you know, what if it's a medical emergency and you can't, you know, you can't drive and shit. That might not be, that might prove to be kind of bad. You understand what I'm saying? They playing on polio, ain't Gene and they, they, I don't think, ain't Gene they realize she would get played, child. But she agreed to go on on and learn how to drive. <coughs> now, next thing we see is the best in, and, 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 and Brittany, they done made it to the house now, child. And, uh, Ja comes in. 
to welcome the college girls and the girls are thanking Jai for allowing them to come and he began to ask about the boyfriend child he's like okay y'all like family me child but let's talk about this boyfriend and as they talking about him child we hear ring ringing of the doorbell Jeffrey let his ass in and he comes in there talking about Jeff now Jeff is Jeff Jr. okay cause we all know uh Ja Rule named Jeff well he walk in there talking about Jeff, and John got his ass together real quick, baby. Uh-uh, this ain't no Jeff. I am Mr. Atkins. And, and he introduced Brit Mom Asia and stuff. So they start to go. She He give her, give Brit his bags, and they start walking up the stairs. Oh, uh, John Root say, uh-uh, in here. She can go up there and put the bags up, okay? So... She go up there to put the damn bags up, and they go into the living quarters, and he start asking y'all about drinks. And I was like, what the fuck, nigga? You, you just came in my house? How old are you? He said 21. <coughs> and now in confessionals, uh, John was saying that he a little arrogant, you know. But since he talking about drinking, he got some for his ass. Child, he coming there with some shit. Child, this shit look like... Death in a bottle. But he gets him to drink the shit, child. It's got a big ass motherfucking snake in the bottom of the motherfucker child. It's called snake wine. He said he been had it in his office by ten years, but he offered a boy to drink. So the boy said he gonna drink it. So of course if he drink it, Ja Rule feel like oh, I ain't gonna be no punk bitch in front of my wife and shit. I'm gonna go ahead on and take a sip of it too. So they both take shots. Well, child, after they get through taking the damn shots. He, you know, I guess they was giving him a walk around the damn house or whatnot, right? Child, he picking up this main trophies and shit, taking selfies with it. And, uh, Britt realized that Ja Rule trying to be cool with him, and that ain't what she wanted. That ain't, that ain't how that's supposed to work. That ain't how none of that's supposed to work. Child, she wanted to make him dislike it. So, what they decide they gonna do next is, they up there in her room, and she puts on this lipstick and kiss him on his damn cheek, right? They like, well, if my daddy see that there, that'll make him kind of like not be feeling this situation. I still don't understand what she thought was going to happen because if your daddy don't like him, you still ain't going to Miami. He just going to put this motherfucker out after he hurt him, right? Well, child... She done kissed him on his motherfucking cheek and they getting ready to go downstairs. Meanwhile, while they getting ready to plot up on Ja Rule, you see Grandma Jean telling Ja Rule that you need to learn how to trust her and give her some room to breathe. Well, child, as she getting that death through his head, he come down that stairwell and everybody, it's so bright, you can tell that the shit, a lip mark on it. And, um, <laughs> Britt went to trying to wipe it off, you know what I'm saying? Um... She claiming like she ain't know it was there. And John said he was trying to keep his cool because he's still on parole. I know that's right. You'd have been up the stairwells. And now I know y'all have been lip locking. At least that's what you think because she got that mark on there. But she just really playing with you, right? Okay, well, he tell me at that point, look, me and you need to have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? You need to have a conversation. And so they get ready to walk off to go talk. And he get a girl a kiss. He says, see, starting with that right there, minus that. Next time, minus that part right there. Don't kiss my daughter. So next child, we see Grandma Deb trying to teach Grandma Jean, child, how to drive a fucking car. And child, they got them boys in the back seat. When I tell you I kikied off of this show, y'all, I kikied off of this damn show. These people is crazy. Them little boys was back there making all kinds of fun of their grandma. And she had a hard time for a minute, y'all. Child, I don't know what to say about Grandma. Grandma was nervous. She didn't know how to take the car out of park or nothing, child. Now, let's roll back over there because why they trying to teach her about park, reverse, and, and, and drive, and drive one, two, and three, and neutral, and all that shit, child. They, uh, we're going to go back over to the Ja Rule house. And Ja Rule asking George now because they outside by themselves about, uh, is he dating anybody else? He said, what you mean right now? <laughs> This boy really was playing his role to try to piss off his dad. I was hollering, y'all. I was hollering. And, um, child, Ja Rue told him that, you know what, let me tell you one of the main things you want to do when you want to date a man's daughter. You're going to have to have some respect, okay? And I ain't certain I'm going to just necessarily get this my blessing, but I'm going to see. We're going to see, okay? 
because so remember one thing if you try to step out of line my baby girl she got a lot of uncles and her daddy got a lot of guns and baby now George don't know do I want to keep playing with this man like this cause now he threatening me on the cool with my life okay now let's go back to the parking lot where they done took poor little Aunt Jean to teach her to drive child and Aunt Jean now can't get the seatbelt on y'all this lady was tripping I swear they will, baby. They finally teach her how to get that damn seatbelt together. So, damn helps her. And then they, you know, help her get us. And they trying to teach her, okay? Because she, child, they told her just take the car out of park and put it in drive. And gently tap the damn accelerator. Baby, Aunt Jean was finna, I mean, Grandma Jean was finna do the wrong thing. They told her to turn. Grandma Jean never did get the hang of how to stop because every time she stopped, everybody in the car could get whiplash. <laughs> she was stopping just that hard. But she did all right. They finally got her to where she was comfortable enough trying to at least go forward. Now, them stops are still gonna be a problem. She ain't no A1 student, but she ain't the dumbest one in the bunch, okay? The boys told her, the little boy said she had to see the oldest boy say D because I'm going to have damn whiplash and they hollered back at that and told him you better stop fucking cussing that boy said shit fuck that I, wasn't, I ain't signed up to lose my damn life well child <coughs> we see them later on that evening assemble to play this damn guessing game right and each time Britt or George would uh, uh, guess the right name or whatever they were guessing at they would give each other either a hug or a kiss. This shit got on Ja Rule nerve real fast, baby. I think they played that for two minutes. He was like, uh, uh that's enough, that's enough. Uh, I don't that. He called the game to an end. He started talking about people need to go to bed. With child, they leave out of there and go upstairs. They thinking George in his damn room with it. They done assigned him to be in, right? Well, child, they down there talking him and, and, and Aunt Jean and, and Aisha. And Aisha was just basically telling him, you know, when she was our age, I, she, I was pregnant at her age, you know. And she was like, the question is, is her cookie, st her cookie box still safe? And he was like, she best to. I'm trying hard not to go to jail, baby. And he reminded us a couple of times on this episode that his ass is on parole and he trying Ooh, he tried not to violate that parole. I know how it is, baby. I was on probation. I was trying not to violate every goddamn chance I turned around. Somebody was fucking with me. But, child, yes, that's what was going on. Now, child, they decided to go and check on the children, right? And when they when he go up there to check on the children, he knows George ain't in his damn room. So he goes to his girl's room, right? He go in that room, and it's like, you know, they privileged, child. They had that little stairwell that you can walk up and get in her bed. And he done been in there. Now, he in there on his way up the stairwell, but his bag is in the, uh, sitting down there on the floor open where Ja Rule walks in and visibly able to see three condoms sitting there. And, baby, it was at that point, murder. I'm talking about that girl had to hurry up and jump her ass down out that bed because he was about to get ready to fuck this boy up and put him off the motherfucking land, child. And what happened was she explained to him that he basically was prank punk. She said that she wanted him to understand that he can trust her. He realized that when she realized that as she was growing up, a great part of her growing up, he was in jail. So he... You know, when he came home, she damn near an adult, and now she is an adult. She need him to understand that he can be, he can trust her. She got her priorities in tech. She in college. She may be interested in boys, but she's not going to let a boy mess up her life. And he couldn't do nothing but give her respect for that, because child, he was about to get ready to fuck poor George. George almost got his ass fucked off, child. Well, the next morning, they, they all in there making breakfast and laughing and talking as a family. And, uh, <laughs> they really ragging on Ja Rule. And he had to admit, he was pumped. He thought that this boy had lost his motherfucking mind coming up in here trying to holler at my dog. Knowing I ain't having none of this shit, child. Well, child, the girl told him again, look, dad. You don't have to worry. I may be into boys, but ain't that never, it ain't never that serious. And, and you know, that that was a good thing that she explained it to him. But I say be still watching, you know. Don't ever take your eye off your child when they're young like that because anything can happen. But it sounds like she got a pretty good raising between them two grandmamas and their mama. That girl seemed like she got a good uh, head on her shoulders. And hopefully, it you know, as the season progresses on, we'll 
grow to like this shit. You know what I'm saying? I like it, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how this review is gonna come across, how y'all gonna deal with it or none of that there. But I liked it and I felt like uh, since if loving you was wrong was giving me other bullshit tonight, I wanted to come down here because a little guardian angel had put this in my life too. So I just wanted to share it with you all and it ended with them talking about, you know, continuing on to try to teach Grandma Jean how to drive that car because everybody, I mean, she going to have to get better, baby. We cannot get whiplash trying to go somewhere with her. And they also talked about possibly having a family trip somewhere, and it went off then. Child, next week he going to be performing some damn well and all that other shit. Well, y'all, that was it on Follow the Rules. I hope y'all found this somewhat entertaining. I damn sure did. It gave me a, gig, a good key key. Plus, I, I never did. I always did like Ja Rule. I mean, everybody fall down but see the important part is we get up okay uh in the meantime in between time please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys back down here tomorrow well now nah, i ain't gonna lie say tomorrow it'll be thursday when i come back with empire um have a great night and thank you all for entertaining my ass today peace